Hey, buddy, it's Victor. It's time to know that you can run here the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Wednesday, Mosh Pit. Hope your midweeks have gone off to a great start. We're still waiting for another video to cross 3,000 likes, although a couple of videos are very, very close. So definitely go check out the past videos, especially over the weekend. We had a couple of very interesting runs, and uh, it was a lot of fun, even though I got the, the date for the, the sponsored live stream wrong. But, eh, we... That's, that's, that's old news in the mosh pit. Here's your screenshot of the day sent in by Sub High and Icon. Title of thread. Well, this is from a while ago, so apologies. I got lost in the sauce, but I did like the title of this one. Title of thread was never understood why Sin hated Curse of the XL until I got three Curse of the XLs in a row. P.S. I missed the first devil deal at 36% by getting hit, so I am not even guaranteed to get a special room at Depths 2. That is horrific. Ugh. Yeah, that would... Uh, that one will make the rounds, that's for sure. So thank you very much, Sub High. And again, sorry about uh, that one getting lost in the sauce. But I do appreciate your screenshot. And uh, I do not appreciate this tears raid. Oh, boy. Uh, Golf, Whiskey, Lima, Quebec, 3, X-Ray, Lima, Lima. We've got great damage, uh, but terrible, terrible, terrible tears raid. And uh, only 1 HP in the Soul Converter, so that's not great. Um, also have the... Sneeze, which did not go off when I tried to shoot it off. So, oh, there you go. Thank you. Very kind of you. All right. So, we're only uh, one hit from death already. Good. Very good. Our movement speed is not incredible. I will say that, you know, we have to rely on our 4.37 damage right now because that's about the only thing we got. Uh, yeah, we'll take C section. C section is, <coughs> I mean, objectively, it's kind of bad here just because obviously it does give us a huge. Not tears down necessarily, but it does make us attack a lot slower. So if you want to consider it a tears down, then I mean I'm I'm there with you. Oh babies, you screwed me. That was the wrong way to go there, babies. We don't have a bomb or a key or anything. Um, oh boy, this is gonna be rough. This is rough going. I I don't I, I mean I just don't know if C-section was the right choice at the beginning there. A little bit too close for comfort here. Can we can we just get a just a just a red heart? Oh, okay. Yeah. So the problem with C section is that it just fires so dang slow, and I mean real slow. Um. Yeah. There we go. So the soul converter will take. Oh yeah, we didn't do this room. The soul converter will take um, soul hearts and turn them into a uh, red heart container, but it does not work the other way around. So it's not like Guppy's paw or something like that. Where we take a red heart container and turn them into soul hearts. Yes, I'm, I'm very, very keenly aware of how close that green fly was to just ending everything. So, um, yeah, this is not a, this is not phenomenal. I mean, th if anything, this is the perfect example of why, like, not necessary. It's something I've talked about quite a bit in the past. Whereas, it doesn't matter how much damage you're doing per shot if you're not dealing it fast enough, right? We could be dealing like 200 damage per shot, but if we can only fire once every four seconds, we're probably not going to live very long. Um, and, you know, that was the case, especially if the C-section babies decide to go into the not nearest target. Yeah, it's a, it's a scary time to be to be Isaac right now, that's for sure. You take down Limehorn and... It lowered literally everything that we could not afford to lose. So, any of you ask why I don't take experimental treatment? There you go. That is... I know I said it the last time, but that is quite literally the last time that you will ever see me take experimental treatment. I don't care what situation is i don't care what the if we are close to having spun I, I don't care it's it's done it's permanently banned perma banned you think i'm joking i am not i mean we have to take meat here but yeah and the fun part about that experimental treatment was that we didn't even get hp from it which is one of the things i was kind of hoping like i was like oh maybe we'll lose a little bit of tears or a little bit of damage uh yeah we lost both damage and tears so Yeah, this is this is going to be quite painful. 
But speaking of painful, we can go to last week's question of the episode. Obviously, the Tainted Goat episode uh, was not that popular. People really didn't want to see Tainted Eve, I guess, even though we had a special request for it. Doesn't mean that everyone does. Um, not a whole lot of engagement on this one, but we did have a lot of really long answers. So the question of the episode was, what is your thoughts on Tainted Eve? And uh, like I said, below average amount of responses. Also below average amount of likes and views on that one, too. So it just basically just reinforces that people just want to see Eden. And anytime it's not Eden, it's not great. <laughs> Which, I mean, is fine. Obviously, Eden's our bread and butter here. But, you know, I like to switch it up every now and then. Get five coins here, but... I honestly think that the soul converter might be just worth it. Uh, it's assuming, of course, we ever get any soul hearts. That, that's you know, let's let's not get let's let's not get too fantasy landish here. Let's try to get through you know, let's try to get through burning basement two here. Uh, but the most upvoted comment came in from Bob's brain guy, uh, also known as Trashman D, who said uh, she's she's can be extremely strong. But IMO, she has one of the higher learning curves in the game. She starts with god-awful tears, and holding fire hurts her. She feels like a great training character for management houses, for managing resources and health. Overall, unique character with ex extremely strong passive that is also dangerous. Bob's brain guy out. Thank you, Bob's brain guy. Um, yeah, I mean, I never, I never really thought about it being like a high learning curve character. I, I mean, her. It's quite simple, obviously. Like you just you you fire, and if you hold you, if you hold fire down too long, you're going to be taking damage, but you get a little cloudy, right? So the sweet science of oh my goodness, we we may need to bail on this run now um, with uh, Esau Junior. Let's just see what we get with Esau Junior. I mean, I hate to do this with only four items, but we we're desperate here. Yeah, I, that's that is infinitely better. Like, infinitely better. We get our tears rate. We also get a... Uh, yeah, this is... We're, we're, we're staying as... Not only do we have flying, we are... We, we just have so much better damage. And I mean, you know, look. C-section has shown, has shown up for quite a while now. And I'm fine with giving it a pass on this because experimental treatment absolutely sunk Eden. We were dead. Like, super duper dead. But as dark as uh, not dark Esau, but as uh, Esau Junior here, we've got an actual freaking chance, dude. In the matchstick, I am gonna use the soul converter again to give us two red hearts, so we can get some devil deal currency. And uh, yeah, devil deal. All right, we're gonna bomb our way somewhere. <coughs> um, seeker room is gonna be in a weird, weird, weird spot because it is not. Yeah, this is going to be one of those secret rooms that it's like going to be a, like caddy corner, and I'm just not even going to deal with it. I don't want to waste those bombs. We can we can save it for the next floor. And uh, yeah, we're not going to take matchstick. No, thank you. And as you would expect, your life meeting the meme of the day, we get ourselves a floor three curse the XL. All right. Uh, second most of a comment came in from Satrox3376, who said, I despise her. It was the last character I got on all marks on. I just really don't like having my fire rate limited to spamming the arrow key for me to not lose my HP. <coughs> so I read that comment, and <coughs> again, everyone's different, right? I wouldn't necessarily say that the care it's, it's, I would say it's a little unfair to say that you have to stop firing and limiting your fire rate in order to not lose HP. Obviously, again, everyone's skill level is going to be different, I'm, and I'm not trying to slight Satrox here. But saying that, like, the character, it, it almost almost as if, as if presenting it as, like, a prerequisite of the character is a little bit disingenuous because, obviously, you don't have to limit your fire rate. You just have to be careful with your HP. And the thing is, though, with Tainted Eve, is if you think that you're getting down to dangerous levels in terms of, like, lack of HP, you can always just use Sumptorium and get it right back, right? Um, yes, your DPS is going to dip by a fair bit because, obviously, you're, you're getting rid of your Claudies, but there's nothing saying that you can't, like, just simply go back and just start firing again, you know? Keeper's Kin and Eternal, or the Prayer Card, which I will take. Very happy that we have the heart, so. Um, so, yeah, so I would just... What in the world is this clown freaking physics, dude? 
I wouldn't necessarily say that... I, I'm not trying to invalidate uh, Satrox's opinion here. I'm just trying to give a little bit of a little bit of clarity to the the fact that like you know I will look you know me I, like I'll bash the game as, as much as I can if I if it if it warrants it but just trying to be fair to uh, Tainted Eve is that you know you do have to be careful with your HP It's certainly not a requirement to stop yourself from firing um, it's just a matter of just it's just a matter of just just getting more experience and stuff um, but I do understand that a lot of people do feel quite similar about her. I don't think I've ever I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that they despise her. These, these shops, they just they just keep they just keep going. Yep. Well baby in the ultra secret room, that's good. Um But I mean I get it. Like I understand why like a lot of people just would not vibe with Tainted Eve at all. Um she can be a pain to play if you're not used to the HP kind of ticking down and stuff. Um, but I would say, like, you know, it's just like what uh, Trashman D said, you know, she could be, you could use it as a golden opportunity as a training character, um, and she could be very, she could be invaluable to uh, helping players kind of learn to resource manage, like, again, like Bob's brain guy said. Um, so, yeah, I still, I'm, I'm still a big fan of Tainted Eve. Uh, she may not be everyone's vibe, but, you know, yeah, I'm still a big, big fan of her. Last but not least, we had our third most upvoted comment came in from Dr. Scourge, PhD476, who said, I just unlocked Tainted Eve yesterday. So far, I'm loving the character. It was a bit difficult at first to get used to the heart loss and being on low health, but once I got the hang of that, she became an excellent character. I'm stuck on whether or not to take Devil Deals or Angel Deals, though. I prefer Devil Deals uh, when I have a sufficient amount of HP, but even with Tainted Eve, you're almost always going to be on low HP. So it's 50-50 now for the Devil Deals. Overall, she so far is my favorite character in Repentance. And, I, I, again, I think that's a little bit more of a balanced take. Um, you know, it, it's objectively harder to start out with, with in, than any other character because you are so... You're, you're, it's so ingrained in your mind with with any character in Isaac that you're just gonna fire the you're, you're gonna fire the tears, whether you're walking through doors or there's nothing in the room. You're just, you're always gonna be firing, right? Always be firing. Um, but you can't do that on Tainted Eve, and that's a little bit jarring for some people. But if you do push past it, I promise you, you're gonna have a fun time, and you can also learn how to use some Torium, which is just amazing. So thank you all very much for the. Submitted question of the episode answers. I didn't even see that other nub up there. This run definitely took a turn for the better with us turning into uh, Esau Jr., which is a separate character altogether. Even though, even though he doesn't have any, uh, he's got great hair, by the way. Going with the Gavin Rosdale, I see. Um, even though he doesn't have like his own like post-it notes or anything, it's still, it's still kind of like Dark Judas in a way. Um, you know, it's just like a sub sub character or, or Lazarus the second stem cells. All right. We'll get our shot speed and we are at least going to get a chance at a double deal. Whether or not it's going to be a good item or not. I don't know, but we'll see. I'm not looking at the chances of us getting an actual devil deal though from this. Hey, well, Steven, I need you to calm down with the bomb shooting. All right. I got this. And satanic Bible. All right. Well, I think you know what time it is. We got to go to the sack room and see what we can do. Now, thankfully, with the prayer card, we can get another H. We can get another red heart HP upgrade, and then there's plenty of red hearts on this floor to help us out. We just need to get a full charge. And of course, we immediately go into a room that has no combat. So there's that. Uh, we can go into the mob trap room as well which will give us three charges. So we really only need one more combat room game. I'm just saying. You want to hook a, hook us up? Okay, no. Okay, well, we'll just take this take this random uh, mini charge here. There we go. All right, we just need to get one more combat room. Then we don't even have to go into the mob trap room, which I will still do anyway because there might be something in that we want. Oh, little Steven, come on now. Yeah, you gotta be you, you you got those homing shots you're telling me you can't hit the same target I'm doing. There we go. So we get ourselves another HP upgrade. Prayer card really, really coming up with some big time value here. I mean, we could take we could take Eve's bird foot, but not really even worth going back and picking up, to be honest. 
Um, there's also mini chest inside of the claw machine, which is definitely a possibility because since we're losing another store, thanks to us having Curse of the XL. Technically, it's called Curse of the Labyrinth for those of you who like to yell about stuff. It's not Curse of the XL, it's Curse of the Labyrinth. All right. We get the actual Holy Mantle, so Pog. Big Pog. Full heart. Probably shouldn't have picked that up yet, but we just did it anyway. Really hoping that that was just going to spawn Uriel, but now we get a chance for 30 cents or seven soul hearts. And we got 30 cents. And that, honestly, that's fine because now this allows us to actually play the claw machine with 54 cents, 55 cents. Okay, all right. So again, you're seeing here a little bit of what we like to call those little threads. You start, you start pulling at one and the rest just kind of unravel things. But now we have enough money to play the claw machine. Or to get mini chest or little chest here. Well, head on down. Right, still looking for our first takeable devil deal here. I mean, we could have taken one on floor two, but obviously it wasn't um, wasn't quite up to snuff with that monster manual and brother Bobby or whatever whatever was in there. So boss rush is still definitely a possibility. We get goat head, which is going to give us a guaranteed devil deal from here on out. So we don't have to worry about failing it now. We just got to get a move on. We definitely speak of move. We need movement speed and also. If we could get like a an E stat up other than shot speed or range, that'd be cool. Um, objectively, prayer card may have been the right call over the Satanic Bible for now, because we are super tanky, and at least if we end up going for uh, sacrifice room plays, then you know we're gonna have the we're gonna have the uh, ammo to do so. Is this is it just me or did that green hollow just not take any damage? Like, I feel like we were doing negative five damage to it every time we hit it. I do not have... We don't have time for this. Boss Rush is way more important right now than this garbage. We need to get as many chances to get items as possible. Wow. That is not where the secret room is. So, we're getting to the point now where we are not going to have... I mean, we are already at the point of not having dominant amounts of damage here to stay safe. We do have the Holy Mantle, obviously, which is going to help us out and already has helped us out, but that is not the end-all be-all here. We, we need we need more tiers, we need more damage, we need more movement speed. All these are things that are desperate needs. These are not wants. These are needs. We'll find the store, which has... I mean, we can, we can go in the store, but I'm not going to. We don't have enough money to really make it worthwhile. Same thing goes for Judgment. Uh, there's a full, full gold here. We can also bomb the Judgment. Our bomb's back. Um, the room is not there, right? Eh, I guess it could be there. And it didn't. All right. All right. Well, it's a good thing we have all these bombs. So let's go to the actual right direction now. And yes, I am still going to liberally use all these bombs. And yes, I will continue to go into the wrong damn direction. 
because if I am anything, if not consistent. How does he do it? How does he do it? A natural phenomenon known as Invicta Navigation it is incredible. We are still looking for our item room, by the way. Uh, I do not know how it's possible that the item room is located this closely to the actual boss room. But here we are. And boy, howdy. It was worth it. All right. We get Peep's Eye, which is an item that exists in the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Um, if it manages to do damage every, like, you know, four rooms or so, then it uh, it can be quite the quite the help. But we are not going to make boss rush now, despite us getting a 4-3 uh, Curse of the XL, which should have helped us out quite a bit, that endeavor. But unfortunately, doing a basically a huge full clear on this floor has uh, sunk us. We had double holy mantles. That was not a bug or anything. That was us having the blanket holy mantle and uh, also the holy holy mantle and then us getting double tapped by the exact same shot, which is pretty cool. And what will Monstro 2 give us? Movement speed, which is exactly what we needed. <clears throat> yep. We waited five floors for this. No, Hank. not be bothered with this room. A boss rush is a... I, I'm, I'm just going to say it now. Boss rush is a 0%. So what we're looking for now is a sack room. Now, how meta would it be if we end up re-rolling Esau Jr., which is also kind of technically a re-roll? It's a re-roll within a re-roll. Yo, dog, I heard you like re-rolls, so we re-rolled your re-roll. I gotta say, honestly, other than Esau Jr., the MVP, shout out to the prayer card. I, we have Holy Mantle. There's, there is no reason for us to re-roll right now. Now, if we still had Esau Jr., I would at least switch over to Eden and see what we got, but then we would lose, we would lose Esau Jr., so we'd have the same position. I mean, this run is definitely doo-doo. Uh, stats wise, but utility wise, we've got a lot of hopeful, hopeful avenues here of getting out of this. And yeah, item rooms continue to uh, continue to win awards here. Oh, so let's find at least a bunch of full charges, or let's find that sack room. Or both. <coughs> Peeps eye going Mr. Hercules. It's the universe, I should say. I don't know I don't know who Mr. Hercules is. Mr. Hercules is my dad. Um Take restock. I will buy a soul heart here, but I don't want to <coughs> don't want to go ham. Health up, okay. School bag. All right, now here's the thing: we have we have unwisely told the game what our plan is going to be, and that is for us to play sacrifice room. So, how many people think that we are going to actually get a sacrifice room from here on out? Let's start counting now that we now that we have expressed our uh, plan to the game. Will we get a sacrifice room for the rest of this run? Actually, don't need to use the prayer card anymore right now, currently, at this present moment in time. 
Yes, yeah, so I'm just kind of like kamikazing into these shots because we have Moly Mantle and just do that. Super Seeker is surprisingly not there. And this is another full clear here on the depths. Might as well get a full card and a tinted Raku. I mean, we have to take it, but man, the movement speed down is a bummer. But we need tears and we need damage, so. There we go. Uh, let's see if we get our devil deal first, and it's going to be just a whole lot of nothing because, you know, that's just how this game is played. And, um, yeah, we, we do not have lamb comfortable damage here. You know, this is one of those situations where it's like if the game is going to be like that, then uh, we're going to we're going to take the easiest the path of least resistance. You can't you can't expect me to go over and, and, and take all these challenges here without any like any weapons now. Come on. Now. Wait, what do you think? This is some kind of competitive video game. What's the matter with you? It's a it's an online single player or offline single player roguelite. Designed to be fun. This is where the this is where the sarcasm wears off on people. Wow, we actually did get a sack room. And uh, you bet your bottom dollar we're gonna be playing this because we need everything right now. That goes all of our soul hearts. Hit monsterance. All right. And divine intervention. All right. And 30 cents. All right. Okay. So we're going to start using the prayer card again. You know, Divine Intervention, it, if you can micro it properly, you can get some good use out of it. Um, it's certainly not my fir <coughs> excuse me, first pick of Sexiest Angel Deal item. But it does, have a, it does have the purpose. If anything, it just reminds me of playing Crusader back in DFO. A golden key, which is not really going to be used for this red chest here, but... Monstrous, of course, gives us the angelic aura that surrounds Isaac, and it deals some damage to things. I wouldn't think it's... I wouldn't necessarily say that it's good damage. It's just damage. It's like passive damage in a way. Think of it like the damage aura from Crab Champions. That's exactly what it does. Trying to stay close range here to Daddy so we get some monstrous damage. Now, the inner circle does deal way more damage than the uh, outer circle does. And another HP upgrade. And, um, yeah. I know what you're saying. You're saying, Victor. Can't complain if you didn't take the 30 cents. You never know you got one equals power. Stupid. Yeah. Oh, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Oh, get blocked, son. This guy, what an embarrassment. Got rejected by a holy shield conjured out of nothing. So when do we stop using the prayer card? At this point, it doesn't matter. Uh, we can only take one soul heart anyway. 
So we might as well go for the full rack of red hearts. Reheed's gullet. There you go. There's the full rack of red hearts there. And a tower card. Might as well use it. And we managed to hit nothing. All right. Have a holy mantle again. We lost the blanket holy mantle, but we have our regular one now. Mom's heart perfectly in range of Peep's eyes uh, patrolling path here. Got an angel deal. And it's immaculate heart. Well, it gives us seraphim, which is, gives us a full heal at least. You know, yeah, it gives us full heal. Uh, might as well take perfection and uh, yeah. Oh, darn. We we don't have, we don't have enough money for hush. Ah, oh, shucks. And if only I had if only I'd taken that taken that 30 cents, then we could have gone to fight Hush. Okay, good. Let's check over here. Oh, I wanted to block him. Oh, get rejected, son. Um, yeah, we literally do not have a need for any more prayer cards. I mean, we could use it, I guess, to give ourselves an eternal heart to act like a soul heart. But at this point, what are we really protecting? Why bombs are important, so you at least have the right to get out of any room that you don't want to be in or shouldn't be in. Uh, there's still a chance for a sacrifice room in the cathedral if we can find one, but fortunately all we can find is just the wrong way to go. <laughs> all right. I don't remember if we've been down here. We didn't. Holy Mantle doing work for us. You go. So again, trying to use the divine intervention just to kind of push things along, but also protect ourselves. If you have good enough micro or at least timing, you can uh, save yourself a whole lot of headache. Oh my God, war was war was unable to process what was going on there in that that corner. Yep, the divine intervention is a good way to screw with the AI, which is really funny. And I mean, it does deal damage, like. Yo, you saw me shooting all those those tears back at Isaac. And yes, those the reflected shots do cause damage. Seeing it, this is this is our movement speed after uh, after small rock. We actually have speedball, and this is our movement speed after speedball, which is insane. But again, full hearts here. We were we were a little bit on the on the sarcasm train today, a little bit. Large zit, Isaac tears, and yum heart. All right. And then we also get spin to win and spilled milk. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I got to say that I think the MVP of this run, it's a tie between Esau Jr. and the prayer card. Uh, the fact that we started with the soul converter and then switched over to the prayer card and then never looked back is kind of a testament to just how much of a run this was. 
This is definitely a, a run of all time. Let me tell you something. It was definitely a run that happened. There you go. Yes, you can block brimstone shots, which is a lot of fun. All right. So there's the north and west side of the map. Down here. See what happens when we go down here. A milk is going to give us a much needed tears up when we do take damage eventually. Large zit gives us a spider bite esque shot. It slows down enemies on proc. On god, on god, fr, no cap. You see there again. You get that contact damage of divine intervention, which is it does a respectable amount of damage. I'm not gonna lie, it's a fun item to use. It's just not an item that would be considered like marquee, you know. Like there's a there's objectively like ten other items at least that you would want before you'd even think about saying divine intervention. What is that? Oh, you want me to name them? Sacred Heart, Godhead, uh, Holy Mantle, Holy Grail, uh, Immaculate Heart would definitely be one. Um, what, are some, what are some other ones here? We want uh, the mind, the body, the soul. Any of those would be great because, uh, you know, you need those stats. You need those HP. Uh, Genesis for sure. Is that 10 yet? I'm not sure if that's 10 or not. Eucharist. Eucharist would be a good one. Take over Divine Intervention. I'm sure that's close to 10, right? Like a horseman jamboree in here. Honestly, I would take the prayer card over taking Divine Intervention. Give me prayer card. There's, a, there's quite a few angel items that I would take before thinking of, oh, Divine Intervention, man. That'd be good. So we're going to get the dub here. Uh, at the end of the day, there was no real problem after we got the Holy Mantle, obviously. But I got to say, definitely MVP goes... Uh, if I had to give it to one thing, it's it's got to be Esau Jr., right? I mean, we have no idea what this what this run would have looked like had we not taken Esau Jr., but we know it would have been bad, like real bad. We probably either would have been dead or we would still be on, like, basement, like, two right now. Yeah, maybe not basement two, but we'd be on the depths. Like, we, we certainly wouldn't be done with Mom. So I think that if you got to go with one, you got to go with Esau Jr. That's just my MVP of this, of this one. But I got to say that uh, the prayer card really, really showed up. So See, it's going to be close. I'm not going to say that's a question of the episode, but I think it's just going to spoil stuff. I've been trying to do a better job at not spoiling things for the question of the episode. It's kind of hard sometimes, though. Obviously, as I tell everybody, no, we're not fighting Delirium. As I always tell everybody, definitely don't go into the comment section until after you watch the episode. Otherwise, be prepared to be maybe spoiled. If, even if un inadvertently. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, everybody. That run, it goes down to Esau Jr., man. Esau Jr. has got to be my MVP, but Prayer Card gets almost co-MVP. A little bit less just because Esau Jr. was so... Uh, it was just so run-changing. So uh, your question of the episode today is just going to be what do you have to do for this weekend? I'd love to know your weekend thoughts. Are you enjoying the weather? Are you barbecuing? You're getting ready for Thanksgiving? I can't wait. Thanksgiving is is traditionally my favorite holiday out of any of the holidays, and I cannot wait for it. So post them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Emil Caban, Jade Fright, and Lucas Wagner. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of the episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com. Last Invicta.